I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had a nice flight. Uh, we, we flew uh, through Reykjavik in Iceland. And I'll never forget, you know, we came down and we landed and switched planes at 4 a.m. And we saw some northern lights over the mountains. I'm going to do a mountain song and dedicate it to our, the baggage handlers of Reykjavik for getting our guitars uh, to Gatwick in one piece. How about that? This was originally written on the banjo by Doc Boggs. He was a doctor, yes he was. But not the type of doctor you'd go to go see if you got sick, man, no way. Back in the 20s, he recorded a handful of tracks on 78 RPM record when he was a young man. Thought he had a career in music, but then the uh, economy dropped. And he put down the banjo and he took the coal mining his whole life, probably 50 years. He actually, he walled the banjo up in between the walls of his house for insulation. And then years later, when he was retired, there was a folk boom in the 60s, you probably all remember. There was a... Uh, is that the boom? That's the boom. There was a band, the New Lost City Ramblers, were thrift store shopping in New Jersey on the Jersey coast. And they found the 78 RPM record and it was all scratched and they looked at the name and said Doc Boggs. And they, they started wondering, did the math, is this guy, he could be alive. So they started driving around the hills of West Virginia and asked the postman. They said, no, Doc Boggs, come on. They went to the, the corner store and they said, Doc Boggs around. They said, oh, yeah, he comes in every Sunday for some chewing tobacco in New York Times. Sure enough, after some investigation, they found uh, an address and they drove up this windy driveway and they found a guy sitting on the, his front porch. Sure enough, it was this Doc Boggs. They said, hey Doc, do you still play the banjo? And he just shook his head, no. But after a few drinks of Kentucky whiskey, loosened him up and they, they started to find a spot on the wall where they thought the banjo was and they took a sledgehammer. And they busted a hole in the wall and they reached in and they pulled out this banjo. Was it in tune? Yes, Dakota, it was in tune. But he started doing a little fine tuning. And he recorded over, um, well it turns out, let me backstep, it turns out the band that went up to find him, they borrowed a recording machine from Alan Lomax. And they, and Doc Boggs proceeded to play over 18 hours of music, which you can find on Folkways Records. Anyway, this song is the song that they found in that New Jersey thrift store. Ain't got no use for no rockin' chair. Ain't got no honey baby Ain't got no use for no red rockin' chair. Thank you. 
Jesus, Bowie, Rock and Jay.